Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's physics lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at internal energy from the particle model of matter topic of GCSE combined science and GCSE physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to define the term internal energy and explain how it's affected by the temperature of a substance. When you switch on a kettle, the temperature of the water in the kettle will increase until it boils. As the temperature increases, the water molecules gain more kinetic energy and move around faster. When the water boils, the molecules have enough energy to break the bonds between them and turn into water vapor, which we usually call steam. The internal energy stored in a substance is the total amount of kinetic energy and potential energy of all the particles in that substance. As a solid is heated, its particles vibrate quicker as they gain kinetic energy. As it melts, the particles increase their potential energy and break their bonds, to turn into a liquid. The particles will then start to gain kinetic energy as the temperature increases, until it boils and once again the particles gain potential energy as they change into a gas. So to summarize, the internal energy stored in a substance is the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy of all the particles in that substance. The potential energy store changes when a substance changes state, due to the making and breaking of bonds between the particles. The kinetic energy of the particles changes when a substance is heated up or cooled down. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.